that you can't apply it back. Yeah. Baby, let me tell you, you're so fine, you're so sexy. What is up everybody? It's your boy King Boys Productions and I am back at it with another reaction video. So today I'm here with Internet Money Lemonade featuring Don Tolliver and Roddy Rich. This is the uh, remix to the song Lemonade, which um it's been killing it on like TikTok recently, I've noticed. Um really just the chorus has been killing it, but it's a good song. And I did a reaction to the original song a while back. If you haven't already seen that video, I'll try and link it up here. If not, you can just search up King Boyce Lemonade and I'm sure it will pop up. I'm sorry if it doesn't automatically. And if if you're here for the first time and you haven't seen that video either, it's pro it might be in the suggested just because it's like the same, damn near the same name. So it might just pop up. I don't know. And if you're new here, man, hit that subscribe button, bro. Like, it takes two seconds. Hit that bell. You know, it means a lot to me. You know, I'm close to 7,000. I want to get I want to get 7,000 by the end of this month. You know, it's October it will be October 2nd when you guys are watching this or later depending, but the video comes out on October 2nd. By the end of October, my goal is to at least hit 7,000 by the end of October. We're like 150 away. I think we can get it. I really do think we can get it. So, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. I would appreciate it. But I really like this song and um you know, I like the original, but taking out Nav and taking out Gunna, I'm not a huge Nav fan, not a huge Gunna fan, but then adding Roddy Rich, I was like, okay, yes. Roddy Rich has made nothing but bangers this year, so it's gotta just be a banger. So let's listen to it. And this beat is so good. Zanny Bond, Suicide Dog, brand new bag. College girls giving a head in my raps. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh. Hey, the business, you never miss what you never had. Hey, hey, off the juice, Golden got me tripping. Got the goop, run the roof that's missing. Ice, let my name, my neck is tripping. Ice, let my name, my neck is tripping. Why? Why? Okay, um, I will say the verse, a little underwhelming, Don Tolliver, like the chorus is a banger, but that verse was kind of not that great, <laughs> it was not that great, but Roddy Rich can save this song with this, let's see. Zanny Bond, suicide door, brand new bag, college girls giving a head in my raps, rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh, hey. Bitch gang, you can't miss what you never had Hey, hey, off the juice Coding got me tripping Pop the coop Work on roof that's missing Ice, let my name, my neck is tripping Ice, let my name, my neck is tripping Yeah, this coding got me tripping <coughs> Already Okay, he's grooving with it. Yeah. Zanny Bond, Suicide Dog, brand new bag. I, before this, yeah, Roddy, Roddy killed that shit. Like, I could, I definitely like, this is a Roddy beat. Like, this is a beat that I could definitely hear him on. And he was vibing with it. He kind of hit the same, like, am I right? He was hitting those same, like, kind of vocal, what is it? Vocal inflations? Is that the right word? I don't know. The same ones that um, Don Tolliver was hitting, too. That was some heat. Hi, I'ma show you. Zanny Boss, Suicide Dog, brand new bag. 
College girls give a head in my rhymes. Rockstar life, so much money, I'll make you laugh. Hey, the bitch they hate, you can't miss what you never had. Hey, hey, off the juice, coding got me tripping. Got the coop, walk the roof that's missing. Ice, lemonade, my neck was tripping. Ice, lemonade, my neck was tripping. I like the remix. Oh yeah, yeah. You know what I would really like? Like I didn't, I didn't really, I wasn't a huge fan of Don Tolliver's verse on that remix. Like I think he could have done better. But what I really think would be fire is if they mix them all together and maybe cut out, <laughs> maybe cut out Don Tolliver's verse off the remix. But put it in with Nav and um, Gunna, and then had like added Roddy's verse on the end of that. That would be some heat if they just like put them all together. I'm sure someone on YouTube has done it. So um, link, well, I don't, I guess don't link me a video because I can probably find it myself. But usually people, people are so damn good. Like some people are so talented with that. Like putting songs together that weren't originally together to make it sound like it's one big song. Like if someone did a remix to the song, they'll they'll piece them all together. You know, their people are so damn good at that. Like it's hard cuz you have to piece it like to make it like the beat hit at the same time and to make it not jump or anything. It's kind of tough. So, shout out shout out the real ones who be doing that stuff. And you know, obviously they don't be making money off those videos cuz they just get claimed instantly cuz it's just the song. It's like you can't even dispute it. It's just the song you're reposting. So, you're just doing this just for fun. That's kind of that's a cool thing. I actually really like that. Um Speaking of music, man, I'm starting to work on um, some new stuff. I know I haven't posted a song in a while. I'm thinking of, I'm thinking I might record one this weekend, and then, um, so it's not gonna. The, the platform that I use to release my music on, like Spotify and stuff like that, for some reason, it's taking a lot longer to release tracks than it used to. It used to only be like a week and a half. Now, like for some reason, they, I sent an email the other day. Um, or like a, a week ago, because my buddy Dutch Master J, um, who's actually my roommate, uh, we dropped a song together called Bumps and Bruises, which if you haven't heard that already, make sure you go check it out. It's linked. In, it's like the first link down below. Um, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud. Make sure you go check that out. Um, but we had we had submitted it like early September, and or like I think it was even at the end of August. We finished the song. We submitted it and we were like, yo, it's going to be out in like two weeks. So we were promoting the hell out of it. Oh, it's out in two weeks, out in two weeks. And then it just didn't drop. And it was not approved yet on the stuff on the site. So it went live on YouTube and, and SoundCloud, but it didn't go live on anything else. So we were like, damn it. So we like basically took, re, re, like recalled it and then put it back out. And then we're like, all right, two weeks and then we'll put it out. So we set it as two weeks again and it just wasn't getting approved. And I'm like, what the hell? Because usually it takes, like I said, it takes about 10 days. Is usually like the max that it takes to get approved. If it's just a single song, it gets approved. Then it goes off to the streaming platforms. And then it will usually just go live on the day that you want it to go live. So I emailed them because it had been like it had been like two and a half weeks. And it still wasn't approved. I was like, hey, because um, I'm not, re I'm kind of his man. I'm kind of the manager of Dutch Master J. Like, I'd be helping him put out his music on the on the platforms and everything like that, and like getting his songs to be the appropriate like um, bit rate and all this shit, you know, the stereo, you know, like the two channel stereo, all this kind of stuff that you have to do for it. Um, so I'd be helping him with that. So I emailed them and I basically just said I was his manager just because I wanted it to sound a little more official. But I was like, hey, I'm I'm Dutch Master J's manager. Um, we submitted a song two and a half weeks ago and it didn't go up in time. I was just wondering, like, what's what's going on? And they emailed me back with some just, like, corporate-ass response. Like, we normally ask that you take three to four weeks in advance to submit songs so they can be out on time. Which is bullshit because if you go on the website and you, you click the date to submit a song, it literally on the website will say, looks good, which should have enough time, blah, 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 blah. And I know that it's not exact and, you know, it does take time, but... Three or four weeks to just release a single just seems a bit ridiculous, especially for like a big platform like United Masters, which I love United Masters. I think they're really cool and you get to keep like 85, I think it's like, it might be 95% of your the revenue 
and you don't have to pay a fee. It's like a free service, so you only have to pay like 5% of your song. So, I mean, obviously, if your song does big-ass numbers, then you're paying a lot of money to them. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, it's a free service. For right now, where I'm not making a lot of money off my music, I'm definitely going to use that. If like if I start like popping off and start making like big bucks, then I'll use something like DistroKid or whatever. You just pay like a small fee, and then you keep 100% of the royalties. And you, there's like a premium United Masters that lets you do the same thing. So I might do that if my music starts popping off, but so so yeah, basically what I was trying to get to is if I, if I record a new song this weekend, it's not going to be out, if I finish it, it's not going to be out until damn near the end of the month, which sucks, but I guess it is what it is. So I'm, I'm just working on some new stuff. My goal is to drop an album in December or like a tape or something like that. Um, it's going to have my first two songs, which is YY and Hardly Working. I have a song that I'm, I want to drop on it called uh, My Crown. The mixtape's going to be called My Crown. I'm, I'm working with one of my buddies who's a photographer. Um, she's really good, so I want to I want to do like a black black and white picture. I'm, actually, you can't see it, but there's a crown up there, like a little plastic crown, like above the TV, um, that I'm going to like basically put on my head. I don't know how I'm going to pose yet, but it's going to be like the crown in color, and like the rest of it's in black and white, and that's going to be like the mixtape cover, and I'm hoping to have... I'm hoping to get at least like seven to eight songs, maybe more. Maybe I'll do like eight to ten. Um, but right now I only have three songs complete. And I think I might drop the one more like single, which would be this song called Rent Free that I've completely written. I've got everything done. I just need to actually sit down and record. Um, so if I do that, if I get Rent Free done, then that will be out probably within the next month and then hopefully I'll just start working. I've been finding a lot of beats and been thinking of like some ideas in my head of like and I got I just got to sit down and start writing. It's just a little stressful because school's been kind of kicking my ass recently too because there's just like a lot of shit going on. So I just got to I just got to do all my school shit too. So But yeah, thank you guys. If you guys did like, please leave a like, please subscribe. Um original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. And until next time, it's your boy King Boys Productions. Squad. Damn girl, why you looking so damn fine? Wanna take you back, but you fucking lied. Push all this other shit to the side. No, no.